What is going on guys? Real Touch Gmail here back with another game maker tutorial and today we are going to be learning on how to create switches. So basically the switch we're going to be making today is you jump on it with your player and uh, something will shoot out of a turret. Um, so what I've done real quick is I went ahead and made a player and I just made a simple platform engine. Uh, now you can go ahead if you don't know how to make a platform engine or um, like a platformer then go ahead and click that link in the description and it'll bring you right to one of my previous videos that shows you how to do that um, but yeah that's pretty much all I've done and I made a simple room here and I went ahead and made some sprites so I made my player sprite uh, I made my block sprite and now I have made my switch sprite which this is a 32 by 8 and basically there are two images in here the first image is image is when uh, you have not pressed it so when it is just standing up uh, the second image is when uh, you are pressing on it or um, yeah when you're standing on it let me actually just make that a different color uh, just because our other player is blue but I just put the two different colors to show that it has changed uh, I made a turret and this is what's going to shoot out our um, our uh, missile or our bullet whenever you step on it uh, and that and then we have a turret shooting and I just made it red um, and then I went ahead and made the bolt that it's going to shoot so if we go ahead and create a new object here and we call it obj switch um, and we go ahead and give it the sprite of the switch what we're gonna do is in the create event we're gonna put some code down we're gonna say image speed equals zero and image index equals zero alright and now what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to go ahead and let me just close all this. We're going to create another object and this is going to be called obj turret d and that's going to stand for deactivated. So this is when it is not shooting. So you can go ahead and just put the uh, yeah just give it the sprite and press OK. That's all we need for that. And now we're going to create obj turret a and this is obviously when it is activated and we're gonna put the sprite as the turret shooting so what we're gonna be doing here is um, in the create event we're gonna go ahead and say instance create x comma y comma obj bullet now we actually have not made that bullet yet so let me go ahead and do that but right at the create event it is going to create a bullet because right when it is created uh, when it is activated, it should obviously um, shoot a bullet out. So go ahead and do that. In the create event for our bullet, I'm just going to set the H speed to equal negative 10. And this will set it in the left direction. Press OK. And now, when if we would just put this in the room here. So if I, put, uh, if I just put that in the room. And I went ahead and played it, you would see a bullet come out see right there now there is a um, it does run through the animations here uh, so in the alright so we're gonna go ahead and go to the switch now and this may be a little confusing but the switch is where everything is gonna take place the switch is where it's going to check if uh, our player is above it so in the step event what we're gonna say is if place meeting x comma y negative 10 obj player then this is going to happen. First off, image index equals uh, 1. Because if you're standing on top of it, since we're in the switch, our image index is going to equal 1 because this is the uh, when it is activated. Okay, and now we, we, want, to, um, we want to change our deactivated turret into an activated turret. So we're going to say with obj turret a, or I'm sorry, d, Um, instance change and we're going to change it into the obj turret a and we're going to say true okay and then uh, that will work once but now we're going to say else image index equals zero so now this is if our player is not on top of the switch we're going to say if instance number uh, obj turret d I'm sorry a 
um, is greater than zero. So it doesn't matter if you have five, six, seven, eight, one hundred uh, activated turrets in the room. It is going to automatically shut all of them down if you are not on them. So we're just going to say instance change, or I'm sorry, we're going to go with obj turret d. Um, oh, I guess I turret. All right. Well, it's turret, but y you can name it whatever you'd like. Um, instance change. Oh, I'm sorry. What am I doing here? This is uh, turret A. We're going to instance change the turret A into obj turret D. We're going to say true. And I'll go over this once we're all done. But this is basically... Okay, so if you're on it, if our player is on it, image index equals 1 for our switch... Okay, with our deactivated turret, if there's any in the room, it's going to change that deactivated turret into an activated turret. So as that activated turret goes on, it fires a bullet. And if you are not on it, if you are not on our uh, uh, on the switch at all, it's going to change Im image index to equal zero. And if there's more uh, than zero, so if there's any activated turrets in the room, it's going to automatically uh, change those back to deactivated turrets. Okay, so now in our activated turret, what we're going to do is in the create event, we're going to, uh, I'm sorry, in the step event, we're going to say if image index is greater than two, since there are three images in our uh, in our uh, animation here, so there's one, two, three, if it's greater than two. I'm sorry, if it's greater than 1, because it goes 0, 1, 2. Or no, no, yeah. So if it's greater than 1, we're going to say sprite index equals SPR uh, turret. And we're going to say image speed equals 1. And alarm 0 equals... Nine 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 nine. And in our alarm zero, we're simply going to say instance change obj turret uh, d. And then that's a true. Um, again, turret. So that should be good. Uh, let's go ahead and test it out. And I can explain through, oh, and I had forgotten to uh, put the switch in the room. Uh, one more thing though, when you put this in the room, you're going to want to put the deactivated turret, obviously. So you can the beauty of this is as well is you can have as many of these in the room as you'd like. So we'll do that, and then we'll put a switch down. Let me make it 16 by 16 so it'll be easier. Oh, looks like that's not going to be easier. Eight by eight. There we go. Alright, so that's that's the switch. And now we go ahead and play it. And we jump on it. Boom! And as you can see, it turns green when we're on it. And when we release it, it's off. And it does play through that animation. So we jump on it. Boom! Uh, and then you can have as many of these switches as you'd like. And you can customize levels with them. As you can see, again, it's green now that we're on it. And when we release it, it goes back to purple. So go ahead and leave a like. Go and subscribe if you like this tutorial. Uh, go ahead and leave a thumbs up if uh, if, if this helped you out. And uh, go ahead and check out LearningGameMaker.com. And I will see you guys next time.